Have you ever gone to an event or a party where you meet somebody and they just walk in and you can tell that person is a quote winner? They have a big smile on their face, they're super personable, and when you think about them, you're probably thinking that they're someone who did not have a very hard life. It's like they just give off this feeling that life must have been always easy for them. In this video, I wanna share a very, very clear and interesting kind of mindset that I've noticed having coached hundreds of people. The one fundamental mindset between high performance and a life that continually stays the same. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Milk the Pigeon, a field guide for anyone lost in their 20s, which you can get on Amazon or Audible right now. Now, I've included a free link below this video, which is for a free worksheet to plan out how to have the best year of your life. So if you're learning how to set effective goals, check out the free link right below this video. So the first belief, the fundamental belief that keeps your life guaranteed the same, the belief that allows you to still continually disappoint yourself is this idea that things are just gonna change and nothing that I do will affect that. It's the belief in love that, you know, there are no good girls out there, all the great ones are taken, everyone else is interested in me for the wrong reasons or they don't like the real me. It's the belief that in work, it doesn't matter how hard I work in my job, I'm never gonna get a promotion, everything's rigged and everything's unfair, it's just the economy, it's just the actual business I'm in, the field I'm in, things are never gonna change. Or it may be that there's something you believe about yourself to be fundamentally flawed, or some trait that you believe is genetic, whether it's your weight, whether it's being a little bit depressed or a little bit anxious, some thing that you have that you believe about yourself that is fixed and will never ever change. Now what I can guarantee, having coached people and having worked on this myself, is that if there is any belief that predisposes you to having the same life year after year, it's the belief that nothing that I do will result in any change in my life because those things are out of my control. So now on the other side, what's the belief that leads to your life getting better, right? You're probably watching this because you want something to change or something to get better. The fundamental belief that whether or not the person is conscious of or not is that the things I do that I will use to figure out to get a better life, I can figure it out. I will actually be able to figure out how to be financially successful, how to get the person I love, how to be in a great relationship, how to get fit, how to have peace of mind, or how to deal with my anxiety or depression. The fundamental rule, it's a belief, whether or not you're conscious of it or not, whether or not that quote winner that you've observed somewhere is conscious of it or not, is they have a belief in self-efficacy, that the things I do, I know I can figure it out. I know there's a way. I know that whether it's by Googling it or consulting the top experts, there's a way I can figure out this problem. What they call now a growth mindset presents itself in love in the sense that if I get rejected by five girls in a row, I'm not blaming it on women. I'm not hating women. I'm not hating the state of dating. I'm not hating texting. It's me. Right? The common denominator in this failure is me. So what can I do about myself to improve myself, to improve the way I approach this problem, to actually get a better result next time? And if it is my career, like look, bureaucracy, all this bullshit at work is a real thing. So I can sit here and complain about why I'm getting passed up for jobs or why I work harder, but because it's a corporate environment, even though I deliver 10x, I'm not getting paid 10x, I can have the fixed mindset and complain that no matter what I do, it's not gonna make any difference because I work at this life insurance company, or I can figure it out. I can take the initiative to try to build a new separate part in that business and talk to my manager or talk to my boss. I can do what I did, which is I said, screw corporate, I'm gonna become an entrepreneur. So it's this, just a fundamental philosophy that I'm gonna figure it out rather than resigning oneself to just mediocrity in the sense that believing we can't control anything. And whether it is something you perceive to be genetic or not, maybe it is your weight is one way, you're too thin and you wanna be a big guy or you're too big and you wanna be a thin girl, whatever it is. If I say this is just genetic, this is just how my parents were and every time I try, I always fail, so why bother trying? Well, that's guaranteed not gonna get you anything that you want in your life. So I can either resign myself to mediocrity and staying the same, or I can try to have this growth mindset and believe that I'll figure it out no matter what happens. But the tricky thing, the plot twist, is that it just begins with that belief. And you don't even have to necessarily believe that belief to begin if you just try it. 
for 100 days. Try what happens when you think, I can probably figure this out and just watch what happens in the action you take. All right guys, so before you go, there's a free goal setting worksheet down below this video. Uh, it'll help you figure out how to plan out and have the best year of your life this coming year in 2021. And then before you go, I have two related videos right here.